This is lesson six in financial maths, and this lesson um, in its entirety is going through the terms. Um, so I'm going to read through this, and um, with learning intention, understand the terms related to earning money. So the first term we're going to look at is income. So income is the money earned from work, property, investment, or an allowance. It is money that somebody receives, it comes in. And then we have different types of income. So a salary is a fixed yearly amount of money that can be paid weekly, fortnightly, or monthly. It is not dependent on the hours worked. It can have holiday loading of 17.5% if it is paid to those people. A wage. A wage, is, a wage is paid depending on how many hours are worked. A wage works on standard hours uh, per week, maximum number of standard hours per week, and also conditions have to be standard as well to get the standard wage. And these things are generally uh, put down in accords, um, agreements between unions and the government, so that all employees need to follow that. So they're paid depending on how many hours are worked. The amount paid in that case is the um, hourly rate times the number of hours. Now there are penalty rates paid, um, for, uh, either overtime ones for working extra hours of, over the agreed number per week, and they're also um, paid weekend and public holiday loadings. And what I haven't got in there, but it's further below here, is allowances um, or penalty rates are also paid um, if conditions are different. So if, for instance, it might be that you're paid a, a loading because you're working at night. It might be that you're paid a loading because you're not working at your normal place of work. Um, you're working at uh, another premises. Okay, so allowance, uh, sorry, bonus. A bonus is an extra amount of money paid for reaching an agreed target or other milestone. You can earn a bonus whether you're on a salary or whether you're on a, a wage or whether you're casual, it doesn't really matter. A bonus is paid by a company when um, targets that are set are met and um, it's a reward to all employees or to individual employees of the individual targets that they've met those, um, those targets and therefore made the company more profitable normally. An allowance. An allowance is paid to an employee to meet expenses. So for instance, you could be paid a car allowance if you need to provide your own car for work. Um, you could be provide, provide travel expenses. They might just give you a certain amount of money per week to say, um, the, here's your allowance, you need to do the travel that you need to do for work in this, for this expense. Could be uniform expenses, could be tool expenses, it could be all sorts of reasons why your employer agrees to pay you an allowance. A uh, special rate of payment, all right, so here is what I was referring to before. It's paid for doing something considered extra to the standard employment conditions. So it might be you're a cleaner and you're paid a certain rate for cleaning. Cleaning toilets is considered to be more than um, what people would expect to be, um, to, to be doing under those standard conditions, and so you might get paid. A, a, um, a special rate when you're cleaning toilets. If you're working in a mine, you might have to work somewhere which is very dirty, very dusty, you have to wear a mask, you have to wear um, particular PPE. It's considered that you are now working in non-standard conditions for your award. You might get paid a um, hourly allowance while you are carrying out that dirty work. The uh, next thing we look at is annual leave loading. So annual leave loading is extra money which is paid for when people go on holidays. It is in many awards, so it's paid to lots of uh, people who are on wages. The idea of it all was originally um, there are lots of people that don't just work their standard um, hours. You might work at a big engineering workshop um, which standard hours are 7 to 3.30 and then every single day, they may stay open or most days, depending on the workload, they could go on until five o'clock and do an extra hour and a half after that 3.30 um, to try and get work out the door. If you elect to do that, you will get paid overtime for those hours. And there's many employees that just do it all the time and they come to rely on that extra income to pay their bills and meet their expenses. When an, employee, uh, when an employer says, okay, time to take holidays, you've accrued holidays, they can turn around and go, well, for the next four weeks, I'm gonna earn less than I normally do because I'm not going to be paid 
for the overtime that I do. So to get around that, um, they negotiated to pay 17.5% loading when people take holidays, which is to compensate for uh, overtime or um, I guess penalty rates that employees are not earning while they're on holidays. So it is worked out to be 17.5% loading. So when you're on holidays, instead of getting 100% of your salary or your salary times one, you get 117.5. So your weekly salary times 1.175 is how much you are paid each week. And it is paid um, for, four, for four weeks. Okay, so to look at the next one, retainer and commissions are for sales jobs. So a retainer is like a salary, it's a fixed amount that people get paid. Um, so what that will do is that means that salesmen don't aren't under so much stress that um, in order for them to actually put food on the table, they need to make a certain number of sales. They get paid a almost like a salary in the first place, which might um, be quite low depending on what their commission is. And then there's an incentive they get paid a small percentage of every sale they make. And so that's called a commission. A commission is a percentage of the value of their sales. And so their amount they will be paid each week will be the retainer plus their commission. The next type of um, employment you can have is piecework. Piecework refers to those people who are paid for doing a certain task. Fruit pickers used to all the time only get paid for how many, much fruit they pick. They got paid for every kilo. You put, the more fruit you pick, the more you get paid. You could have be a, um, somebody that delivers newspapers and get paid for every newspaper you deliver. Um, you could be somebody that makes clothes. You get paid for every um, set of clothes you make. You might be working a car wash where you get paid for every car you wash. All of those things are piecework. You pay a certain um, fixed amount for producing something rather than for, or, or doing a task rather than for an hourly rate or um, a, a salary. Okay, so they're the types of works. Now we have a look at the terminology around, um, around our earnings. Gross income is the total amount of money that you earn or receive from all of your sources, from wages, from your second job, from bank interest, um, from bonuses from anything at all that somebody that you earn as far as your income goes into the gross. So gross means total. If you look at a truck driving past, you'll see gross weight. That refers to how much um, the truck can weigh as a maximum when it goes over a weigh bridge, which is the weight of the truck plus whatever load they put on. Okay, so allowable deductions. Allowable deductions are things that, allow, that people are allowed to deduct from their gross income before they work out how much tax they have to pay. So there are things like union fees, tool expenses, um, health fund membership, superannuation payments, etc. Um, so what that is, they're things related to your work. Um, and so what you can do is they're, they've, they've said they're allowable, so before you work out how much money you're gonna pay tax on, you subtract them from your gross income. So you don't pay tax on, the, on that money that you spend on those items. So your taxable income is the amount of money that the tax department works out you have to pay tax on. So it is equal to your gross income minus those allowable deductions. Your net income, on the other hand, is how much you get in your pocket, how much goes into your um, bank account, how much you get at the end after the tax department works out how much tax you have to pay. So it is your um, gross income minus all those deductions that you've already deducted that you're allowed to deduct um, and, and minus the tax that you pay. So it's minus all of your deductions, including tax. PAYG stands for pay as you go. And it is what, um, it is the name that the Australian government gives to our tax system, where you're working for someone and that company is pulling tax out of your salary every week, you are paying tax as you go. At the end of the financial year, you will have paid a certain amount of tax to the tax department, um, and then based on your taxable income, it'll be worked out how much you actually have to pay. So to work out how much you have to pay, you use a tax table. 
So the tax table allows you to work out how much tax you need to pay for that year based on your, on the, your taxable income that you own for that year. Um, and then when we just come down, well, we'll have a look at one more thing, the Medicare levy. The Medicare levy is something which um, pays for Medicare. Um, it is charged after you earn a certain amount of money and it is a percentage of your gross income. So it's just a flat percent. If you pay the Medicare levy, it uh, might be 1.5%. If you earn $60,000 $60, gross, they will calculate it on that $60,000 gross. You do not get to deduct um, your deductions first. It goes on your gross income. And then finally, your tax refund is going to be having a look at how much tax did you pay um, and then they're going to subtract um, how much you were meant to have paid. So I have a look at how much you paid and how much you were meant to have paid, add the Medicare levy to that. If you paid more tax when up here as you went, so if your PAYG amount you paid is more than how much you assessed to have to pay plus your Medicare levy, you will get a tax refund and you will get money back for the difference if you manage not to pay enough tax through the year because you work um, a couple of different jobs and on each job they're giving you, they're not taking out enough tax, then you'll end up with a tax liability, which means that um, you won't have paid enough tax and so your tax liability will be equal to um, how much they assess that you should have paid minus the tax that you have paid.